Hey guys, Aaron Baker. I'm in Hermiston, Oregon again, one of my homes away from home. And I'm sorry guys, I haven't posted a video in a while. Uh, I ran into one of my viewers um, outside of here, actually at Bonneville Dam of all places. And he uh, noticed I hadn't posted a video in a while. So, there's so many things going on. You know, I had my car broken into even there in Portland, stereo stolen. Um, you know, my hair's falling out. I don't know if it's because I'm pulling it out because there's so much crap going on or if it's because of the uh, the nuclear fallout. And speaking of that, you know, that's just amazing. I knew that nuclear fallout was going to reach us. And I guess it's an ongoing problem. You know, the, uh, the jet stream and all. The Japanese used the jet stream back in World War II to deliver bombs to the Oregon coast here to try to catch our forests on fire. So, I mean, that jet stream will carry anything right over here. Uh, you know, 250 mile per hour winds up there. Um, also, I had my YouTube partnership um, was disabled. Um, is there a greater conspiracy to that? I don't know. And other news, uh, remember Art Robinson? He was uh, endorsed by Ron Paul. He was running for Congress down in uh, my district, District 4 in Oregon, against Peter DeFazio, a long time, 30, 30 some odd years in politics, old school politician, dirtiest can be, and a flagrant communist, uh, progressivnia. Uh, of the uh, progressive party, uh, it's in the English word, which is just the, the same thing the communists called themselves in uh, the Soviet Union and all, the progressives, the progressivnia. Um, anyhow, Art, it seems that Art's children um, are being forced out of the school, OSU. I'm going to put a link to that website and also you can check that out. It seems to be some vengeance on uh, the de Democrat side. Uh, OSU is in that congressional district so uh, Art's children are now having problems staying in the school because of uh, retaliation against them because of their father had ran for office against a prominent well-established old-school politician. So uh, that's some terrible stuff. Um, I might have a little bit of video here showing um, I believe it was Joshua's first time I had ever met him. It was uh, it is uh, Art Robinson's son. I think one that is having a lot of trouble. And you'll see in this video that Peter DeFazio was. It seemed like he was really bullying this Art son around. And I was standing there, sitting there videotaping, and I, it made me feel uncomfortable. It was like really, whoa, this is strange. You know, let the guy talk. You know, and Peter just. It really seemed like a uh, real dick. Check it out. A bit late. Um, it's an interesting uh, year, an election year. Uh, you know, I'm uh, running for re-election. Uh, you couldn't have a more defined difference between myself and my opponent. Um, in fact, it's, it's I see one of his sons here who came to many of my town halls. Welcome, good to see you again. And. Uh, Good to see you're not stuck in a chicken suit today. <laughs> what so, uh, you think I've been in a chicken suit? Oh, I don't know. I, it's hard to tell who was in the chicken suit because you can't tell who was in the chicken suit. But oh, anyway, I, I think I you know. made your sister do it one day. That wasn't very nice. But anyway. Um, and uh, we'll start with uh, education in the university. Uh, I'm a big supporter of public education. Uh, my opponent has campaigned for years to abolish public education. He now says he just meant abolish the Federal Department of Education, although he never said that before. Well, if I'm here, uh, but you, no, should, no, you should put it in context. You'll, you'll get, you'll get, you'll get your, your, your chance for a question. No okay, do you, do you mind? Do you mind? But he has said definitively, just answered a questionnaire from Project Vote Smart, that he is against federal financial student aid. And I just